All right, so we're about to start um, just showing an intro to how to use the GoAfrica Marketplace. So on your main screen, if you are watching the video, you see the GoAfrica logo in the middle and you see the, the screen. We'll just walk through some quick concepts prior to showing you how to log in. Uh, on your left, you can see with the cursor and the mouse, it's the search products. You can see the cart is empty. And on the right, you see quick order, knowledge base, and frequently asked questions. And as you go forward, the key points of looking for information will be to look into the knowledge base itself. But as you can quickly see down, there's several items normal to most stores. Shop, shop by category, cart, checkout, and my login. And contact support about and track, and track shipment and merchant, and merchant feedback. This screen is as if you're not logged in and you're just a consumer and not a merchant. So this is what the normal login person will see or someone coming to the site will see in the event that they're not logged in. If you click on the login icon, the login uh, menu item, you will see items to register. In this case, you can see I'm click to register as a vendor by having apply for a vendor button. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can just apply as a register as a regular user and select your password and ask the site to remember me the security on the site, by the way, is already set. If you're using passwords that may have been hacked or something, you will get a warning message telling you to suggest or use another password. Also, if you scroll to the bottom as well, you can see that you can log in with your credentials from Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn. We plan on adding Twitter in the near future as well. So as you can see, I'm going to continue forward as logging in as a vendor. You can see that uh, we're accepting the terms and conditions and we're subscribing to a newsletter, etc. And now we're clicking to register. So as the registration process is, is completing, we could probably point out a couple of other items. And uh, as the process is continued forward, you can now see that you have been registered. In the event that you're registered, what happens is your email address has been used to send you your credentials, the password. The system sets your own password, which is highly secure. We will cover how to change that later as you've logged in. Fr from the pro dashboard, you can see that you have your store options where you would name your store, give your store description, and put your seller info as well into it. The store has various features because this is an open marketplace in a sense that you could put in your website if you have one, your store name, your store phone, your store address, and et cetera as you continue in the process. Um, also, you can other put other items such as your payment branding, which allows you to place your, your, your logo and et cetera on the site as well. So also you have social media, and on the social media tab, you will be able to, I'm pressing it now, to you will be able to put in your Facebook and your other attributes, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and that will tie your site to your internet or social media presence. That can be anything you would like it to be. If you do not have one, we would suggest that you uh, have someone set up your Facebook page or your LinkedIn page or your Pinterest or Google, et cetera, that will allow your storefront to have as maximum exposure as possible. On the branding page, as you can see, um, you will have, once you're approved as a vendor, you can place your icon and others later. I'll cover that in the next segment. So um, for now, we're going to end the segment and continue as if you were a vendor. So we're back and we're going to have been approved as a vendor. So now we're going to go with a login. The system automatically assigns your login name and password. In the event you do not like the password, you can always change the password by cutting and pasting the system assigned password and placing whatever password you would like to be in the system. So here, I'm gonna log in as dbeach as the system name has been assigned to me and I'm going to press login. From there, the process continues and I'm logging in at this point in this particular segment as a vendor. When you log in as a vendor, the vendor dashboard can be somewhat intimidating and somewhat complex, 
but it's designed that way to help you as a vendor come on board and these are the screen options that you can now see you see pro dashboard merchant stores as the other thing vendor orders and shop settings and vendor dashboard so what we're going to do here is going to point out other segments you can see the chat windows below these are the chat windows that are set on the system if you need help or anything you can start by chatting here or you can start by chatting via Facebook and also from a support option I'm going to also show you this particular part in the event that you feel that you have an issue or something you can always make a support ticket by going to the support options and placing the various fields below so here you can see that the tickets there's no tickets you can just ha add any ticket and fill in the appropriate details and your ticket will be assigned to a queue and since you've already logged in it will already know what it's about what your store is etc the more details you can provide in a ticket um, the better I'm going to show for an example a short of a ticket by creating the ticket your email address you can see has been populated for me you want a description and you want a category of your issue and of course you approve that you're not a robot when you send the ticket um, the, the more you put in the des description such as product product detail what the issue is etc the more we will be able to help you with issues so from here we're going to go to the pro dashboard and in the pro dashboard this is where we're going to continue aspects of your vendor setup when you get to the plug dashboard you can see that it's very simple in that regard so the, the quick and easy part of the pro dashboard is pro is the dashboard products orders settings rankings uh, coupons are a salon or or a consultant or something that you can use to keep a calendar that that feature will be demonstrated in another video later that will be titled appointments and bookings so what we're going to do here really quick is to say that you want to get yourself set up very very quickly so you will hit add product and product adding a product is it's going to be just a simple product type there'll be another video that you can watch as far as engaging in what a pr simple product type and etc that's also posted on the knowledge base so we'll post your product name, your product descriptions, your product categories that you believe, as you can see here, I'm clicking on categories. These are the predefined categories. In the event that you see that you have a category that's not listed, you can open a um, ticket and trouble ticket and, and we will log it as an issue and or add the product. But usually we should have most products. Also, on this particular part, you can see that, that you can see that we can add a image and we can put price and sales price in your vendor's queue once that is done you will click add product and you will be in essence finished